the home of trophies, Al Ahli Wiya Salam Stadium. I'm Yom Naatwa and you are watching Al Ahli Online TV English News, getting you the top weekly news of the Club of the Century. So let's start with the headlines. Al Ahli held to a draw against Sulguna. Sharif's brace hands Al Ahli 2 to 1 victory over Al Masri. Musimani speaks about the team's difficult win over Al Masri. Sharif Ishahad Sulaya led Al Ahli to a precious victory over MP. Musimani, we played a very good game against MP. Al Ahli men's basketball team qualifies to Egyptian Cup final. Al Ahli men's handball team crowned champions of the Egyptian Cup. Al Ahli handball ladies defeat Zamalek in Cairo Derby. Al Ahli received official approval to lay foundation stone of Al Ahli Stadium. Men's basketball team loses to Al Ittihad. Al Ahli's football first team was held to a 1 to 1 draw against Al Gona from the 16th fixture of the Egyptian Premier League. Tahir Muhammad Tahir gave us the lead in the 57th minute of the game. However, Muhammad Nagib Ilgona's defender was able to equalize in the dying minutes of the encounter, ending the game in a one-to-one -one draw. <laughs> Al Ahli sealed an important victory over Al Masri on Tuesday in a game postponed from the 15th fixture of the Egyptian Premier League. Muhammad Sharif Al Ahli's forward pulled up an impressive performance as he scored a precious brace to gift us a crucial win in the league. <laughs> Musimani described Al Masri's game that is very difficult on them, especially that their opponents had 10 days to prepare before the game, while Al Ahli had only two days. So Musimani changed the playing style as the team suffered from fatigue. So they were keen to be more defensive in the game and to depend on counter attacks. However, it was difficult as Al Masri were playing with high pressure in order to win the game. We are keen to give some rest to our players to protect them from any injuries. However, it's very difficult for us to maintain that level of performance due to the pressure of four overwhelmed schedule, Musimani added. Al Ahli's football first team achieved an important victory over MP on Saturday in a match postponed from the 13th fixture of the Egyptian Premier League. The Red Eagles pulled up an impressive attacking performance during the encounter, while Al Ahli's trio Hussein Shahad, Muhammad Sharif, and Amr Sulaya guiding us to a precious 3 to 1 victory. Musimani commented on MP's game, saying, We were determined to win the game, as we were keen to convert all the chances we had, unlike what happened in Smuha's game. This is football, as sometimes you need to be defeated in order to correct your mistakes. We learned from our mistakes and scored two goals at the beginning of the game, and I'm so proud of my team. Al Ahli's men basketball team managed to qualify to the Egyptian Cup final after defeating Zemaling 85 to 80 in the semi finals of the competition. After winning the derby, Al Ahli are set to face Al Ittihad of Alexandria club in the Egyptian Cup final. <laughs> Al Ahli men's handball team was crowned champions of the Egyptian Cup after defeating Zemaling on Saturday night in the final match of the competition. Dr. Hassan Mustafa Sports Hall witnessed a strong performance from both teams. However, the Red Eagles managed to have the upper hand in the encounter. <laughs> Al Ahli women's handball team achieved a precious 21 to 19 victory over Zemalek in our opening game in the second complex tournament of the Egyptian League. Dr. Hassan Mustafa Sports Hall witnessed a strong performance from our handball ladies who managed to come out victorious 14 to 6 in the first half. We maintained our dominance over the game in the second half as the Red Eagles managed to win the derby with a 10 point gap. Al Ahli's board of directors, headed by President Mahmoud Al Khatib, held a meeting on Sunday night at the club's premises in Gizrira to discuss several important files. 
El Khati presented the club's board of directors with the detailed steps which he took over the past couple of months and his constant communication with Egyptian authorities, which resulted in obtaining the necessary approvals for the establishment of Al Ahli Stadium in Sheikh Zayed City. The club's board discussed the required procedures to start the immediate implementation of the project and to lay the foundation stone of Al Ahli Stadium on the 1st of June 2021. Al Ahli men's basketball team lost 78 to 76 to Al Ittihad of Alexandria Club on Thursday in the Egyptian Cup final. Yothan Sports Hall in 6 of October City witnessed a strong performance from both teams. However, the Red Eagles were unable to achieve the victory. Thanks for watching Al Ahli Online TV English News from Al Ahli Wiya Salam Stadium. I'm Yumna Atwa. See you next week.